The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. We here at the Pope on Film realize that it, this is episode 126. There is a possibility, however slight, that you, the listener of this episode, might not have heard all 125 episodes and special editions and uh, extras that have led up to uh, this episode 126. Yeah. A and, of course, this is a very serialized show. I mean, we have plots, and we have reoccurring characters, and we have exciting <laughs> events and twist endings and shocking things that just causes that cause your jaw to drop there's yes. so much going on on this podcast so we have been trying to begin each episode with a recap of the last episode to try and keep you in tune with what we're doing here on the show yes so we would like to do that now with and we and Chris. we do it we do it out of love we do we do it out we of do love it out to of make love the listener understand what we're trying to do here on the show. You know, it, 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 it's for and it's every for, one of our listeners. Yeah, it's for their benefit. We so you know what? You're welcome. Love you very, very deeply. So very. We would send each and every one of you flowers if we could. Yeah, okay? or a muffin basket. We will lie to your husbands for you. We will. We will. We absolutely will. Chocolate. Chocolate. Previously on Ch the Pope on Film. Well, the Pope on Film universe is still reeling from last Sunday's pay-per-view, the Pope on Film blowback. Oh, my God. Where the Harbinger shocked the TPOF universe and aligned with Mr. Fishbane's union and captured the TPOF championship belt. But Hi. last week on the Pope on Film, crowd favorite The Choir Boy challenged the new Harbinger to a Tallahassee rope match. And mm -hmm. those are always exciting. Mm -hmm. what, what happened to the baby? she okay? Yeah. Are my headphones? I don't know. Oh, yeah. She destroyed the headphones. Anyway. I, I but th That was the best finishing move ever okay oh yeah oh yeah I, I i mean i mean fuck a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire to actually jam an entire tiger shark down your opponent's throat I mean, it was fucking yeah. still alive it was flopping yeah. all over the ring pretty impressive he calls it the dead baby souffle uh, for for a good reason sir for yeah. a good reason Incredible. Anyway, I'm excited about the possibility of a Tallahassee rope match. I haven't seen that since uh, whew, 94. <laughs> with, with uh, yeah, AWX P oh, w out but, of Weehawken. But that just leads to Lucha Underground. Who Who is the guy who was fighting with the rope? And they had a rope match. It oh, was not yeah. a Tallahassee uh, rope uh, match. Tejano. Tejano. Yeah. He's got a huge rope, but we're talking a Tallahassee rope match, which is very different. I, I, I got to say, though, that is the fakest looking rope I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I, I, that's I could, not a real rope. I could swear it's like one of those ropes that you use to tie the curtains back. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just a brown one. Yeah. yeah. So the big question this week is will the new. TPOF champion accept the Choir Boys challenge for a Tallahassee rope match. That's, that's the big question for this mm -hmm. week. Hopefully, we will get to the bottom of that. Also, last week during a match with tag team champions, the Bush people, yeah. the team of Jose Ariba and the Mad Mediterranean turned on each other. No one saw that coming. They were the best of friends. Now they are at each other's throats. So the big question this week is, will this sudden turn of events lead to a boring mid-card pay-per-view match that will be incessantly booed? Only time will tell. Yeah. Also, 
We'd like to inform you the TPOF is in no way sexist, as evident by our weekly five-minute ladies' match, where two women are dressed as strippers and rolling around getting sweaty. We care about you chicks. Mm -hmm. Also last week on The Big Show, three-time former TPOF champion-turned-actor James the Fighter Johnson returned to the TPOF ring to entertain the crowd and not to shamelessly promote his upcoming action film with Channing Tatum. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun that was had by all. Yeah. Also last week and every week, about two and a half hours of our show was just same shameless self-promotion that mm -hmm. should make you fucking sick. So the big question this week is, will you get sick this week of the 3,000 times we mention our website, our upcoming pay-per-view, our video game, and our streaming subscription service, Find out this week on the Pope on Film. <laughs> and I don't know about you. Did did you see who I saw in the audience? Who? Richard Simmons. Ah, it's a mystery. <laughs> it's a mid that I just, just swear adds, that was Richard fire. Simmons. Yeah. Just adds he and he was holding a sign too, and he was an arrow pointing at him and it said, I'm not Richard Simmons. Yes. That's what made me confused. Yeah. That's what made you really confused. So, hey, uh, before I get to anything else, I have, I have some exciting news. Well, so, for, for new for new listeners, uh, we have exciting news as well. Okay. We okay. pretty much have our first confirmed show, other than the ones that we're planning on, uh, for our Roku channel. Oh, yeah? Earth yes. Defense Force 1. That sounds awesome. I I met with the guys. We talked about it. You know, uh, what is currently out there, which is not for public consumption, um, is 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 a, a, a basically a proof of concept kind of a thing. Yeah. So we talked about what they're planning and doing and different ways to to make a better show with no fucking money. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so that is the first show that we know of that's going to be on our Roku channel other than our own. Nice. Nice. And I had talked to Liz about one of them that we had talked about a bit. Um, the rock band on the spaceship. Yes. Okay. I, I I decided the best way to do that, make it really simple. Okay. It's it's still a show for grown-ups, but basically we're talking about Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. So then in each week we can feature one of Liz's songs. She'll be like the lead singer in the band kind of a thing. And stupid shit happens. Yeah, but in space. But in space. But in space. Because I've made this awesome looking model. Yeah, and it must be used in something. Good. What I want to do for that, now, see, see, I, I, I'm trying to use this section of the show to to not only refresh the new listeners, but to yes. intrigue them. Nice. That other things are happening here and they need to know. Yeah. Um, the model looks fucking awesome. What else was I going to say? I think I was going to say something else. You were using this part of the podcast. Ah, okay. Oh, the other thing I want to do about that, though, is that is that because I don't think this has ever been done. I have never seen anything like this done. Okay. 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 But you can do it with 3D animation. So Dr. Vornoff is on the ship, as I've mentioned before, and I don't really want him to play any part in the episode. What I okay. really want to do is I want Dr. Vornoff to be having his own, completely his own show at the same time. On the ship. On the ship. 
do they occasionally run into each other or sure all the time that's what it'll be the fun is like you'll be watching the one show the non-doctor runoff show and yeah. he'll have to walk across the ship to get from one part to the other you'll see him do that you but if you watch Dr. Vornoff's show, you'll see why he did that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, he'll he'll be walking back and he'll be walking back and forth naturally in the background of the show and will sometimes interact with the show. Sometimes he's they're all on the same ship. Sometimes they will just have to interact with each other. Yeah. And that'll be on their own shows. That'll be that'll be on both shows. That's a good idea. I like that. That's yeah. that's that's different. So so Dr. Vornoff might might just suddenly throw open a window and look at the people on the other show and go, You fucking whores. And yeah. that's all you see on that show. But maybe maybe on Dr. Vornoff's show he's getting all paranoid and everybody's out to get him and you know, he's all alone in the world, that's why he's so evil. And then he throws up the window and yells, you fucking whores. Yeah, I like that. And I, I, I can't think of anybody who's thought of that yet, and I should probably not be broadcasting it throughout the fucking <laughs> internet. Right. <laughs> Again, that's how we, much we love you. Yes. Our listeners. Yes, we do. We love our listeners. <laughs> So we have so, our confirmed show that there is an event on my Facebook page. The Pope on Film page on Facebook is being a royal bitch to me, and like I might have to actually break down and contact Facebook about it. Why? It locks up every time I go there. Really? Facebook just locks up. That's weird. And when is anybody informing Google Chrome? That when a web page crashes like that, oh snap is no longer a cool thing to say. <laughs> and I really want Google Chrome to stop stop saying it. <laughs> oh snap. Oh snap. Come to my macaroni party and we'll take a nap. So there's an event up on the Facebook page. Uh, if you or anyone you know um, has a show that you don't really know what to do with, maybe something you've done for YouTube or something like that, we could talk about possibly putting it on the channel, um, um, maybe seeing what kind of help we can possibly give to make it a better product, um, what the plan I am, I am putting out there is that um, we'll get them, you, you give me 13 episodes, of a show 24 minutes 45 minutes you know basically a half hour 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 and a half two hours something like that um we will get that bundled into a blu-ray okay no matter how, you know how many episodes have to go on a particular blu-ray anything like that special features blah 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 um get it into our channel store for an 80 20 split. So so the good. artist would get 80%, which is fucking better than anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Hi, Maxwell. I'm recording the podcast. So if any On of my... our listeners, or if you, if you have a show, or if you know a show, or if you want to talk about a show, you know, you've seen a show that you like, let us know. It's up as an event on our Facebook page. Yeah. Let us know. Hit us up. Contact us. We're all over the freaking place. It's not that hard. Maxwell, why are you whispering booty into my ear? There's no reason. You're just doing it for fun. Krabby Patty. Krabby Patty. Gotcha. Here, move. I'm getting some. Yeah. Good, Maxwell. Thank you for that. Um, that was okay. actually kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he he was. That was really creepy. There's something like, I, I, like to... I, I I've always imagined that Slender Man's voice would be something like that. 
My, got my any cheese? <laughs> my my girls were legitimately frightened of Slenderman for a while. Oh my god! I, I, I've, 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 yeah, Emerald and and Bella and just everybody was legitimately scared of Slenderman for a while. I, I've I've tried looking up Slenderman a couple of times, but the subject does not hold my interest enough to get me past. An urban legend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, do I need to delve more into this? I'm kind of interested, but like not interested enough. Yeah. To find out what the legend is. <laughs> yeah. Or why it matters or anything I like just, that. I just always think it's the guy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I just realized that uh, I'm looking around for my pirate outfit. <laughs> I I might wear it to work for no reason tomorrow. Yes. Being the receiving manager, I have I basically don't have to follow I basically don't have to follow any dress code. Yeah. So what that means is if I want to come to work dressed as a pirate, I can come to work dressed as a pirate. Yeah. Because I'm the receiving manager. So I'm looking around for my pirate outfit and I'm having a hard time finding it. I could come as Captain America, but I feel like I do that a, a bunch already. Yeah. You know, I don't want to overdo my Captain America wad. 